Zaza Gabor, a Hungarian-American actress, was known for her glamorous lifestyle and roles in film and television. Her charm, wit, and elegance made her a memorable figure in Hollywood. Whether you first recognized her in a classic film or through her appearances on talk shows, she left an enduring impression on her audience. Do you have a special memory associated with her? Maybe it was a particular movie that resonated with you or a moment when her humor and personality shone through in an interview. We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Stay tuned as we explore her life, revealing interesting facts you may not know. Keep watching this video to learn more about this beloved actress. Born in Budapest, Hungary, Zaza Gubor came from a family deeply involved in theater. Her parents, Vilmos and Jolie, gave her a cultured upbringing. In 1936, she won the Miss Hungary Beauty Contest, which kickstarted her entertainment career. Her early life had both privilege and challenges due to the political turmoil in Europe. During World War II, Gabor and her family fled Hungary, which taught her resilience and adaptability. After moving to the United States, she pursued acting, gaining attention for her accent and glamorous image. She appeared in many films and TV shows during the 1950s and 1960s. Gabor's personal life, particularly her numerous marriages, often overshadowed her professional success. However, she remained a prominent figure in Hollywood society, beloved for her wit and charm. Despite her struggles, Gabor maintained her status as a symbol of Hollywood glamour. She continues to inspire aspiring performers even today. Zaza Gabor, known for her roles in various films, had a notable encounter with actress Joanne Drew during the filming of Three Ring Circus in 1954. They didn't get along and often clashed. Once, Joanne outwitted Zaza, prompting Zaza to vow revenge, but Joanne quipped about Zaza's age. In Touch of Evil, Zaza played the role of a strip club owner. Interestingly, she was dating the producer, Albert Zugsmith, at that time. Zaza and her husband, Frederick von Anhalt, adopted several men. These included Marcus Eberhardt, Oliver Bendig, and Michael Killer, who all paid millions for their adoption. Marcus was a brothel owner, Oliver owned strip clubs in Los Angeles, and Michael owned health clubs. They later became known as members of royalty. In 1993, Zaza Gabor and her husband faced a legal dispute that led to a court order demanding a hefty $2 million payment to Elk Sommer over false accusations. This incident shed light on the challenges in Gabor's life, adding complexity to her glamorous image. The entertainment world saw not only legal drama, but also unexpected delays during filming. In a memorable episode of The New Hollywood Squares in 1986, Gabor paused production for about 45 minutes, all because of a broken fingernail. Such stories provided glimpses into her unapologetic and unpredictable nature, winning over fans and surprising critics. Outside of television, Gabor's versatility was evident when she stepped in for the acclaimed Julie Harris on Broadway. This unexpected move showcased her ability to navigate different parts of the entertainment industry, showing her resilience and adaptability. In Zaza Gabor's life, these incidents were just fragments contributing to the larger narrative of the Hungarian-American socialite and actress. Her journey was marked by highs and lows, glamour and controversy, leaving a lasting impression on Hollywood history. In August 1934, she moved to Vienna, a city full of cultural richness and lively social scenes. It was here that she started a new part of her life, leaving behind the familiar comforts of her previous surroundings. Within nine months of her arrival, she found herself caught up in a whirlwind of romance, winning the heart of her first husband in the grand setting of the Austrian capital. Her journey in the entertainment world took her to various places, and one of her notable roles was in the film Three Ring Circus, where she played the character Saudia with her unique charm and style. However, behind the glamour of the silver screen, there was tension between her and her co-star Joanne Drew. Their on-screen chemistry hid the conflict that simmered beneath, often leading to clashes and disagreements. A particular incident on set sparked a feud between them when Drew outsmarted her in a scene, making her vow revenge. Yet Drew, known for her quick wit, responded with a sharp comment about her age, leaving her momentarily silent. It was a clash of egos, each refusing to give in, and their rivalry added extra drama to the production. Despite her success in the film industry, she became more famous for her personal life, marked by a series of marriages and high-profile relationships. 
Her larger-than-life personality fascinated audiences globally, and she effortlessly embodied the idea of being famous for being famous. Her charm extended beyond the silver screen, with numerous talk show appearances solidifying her status as a cultural icon. In the history of Hollywood, her name remains linked with glamour, controversy, and a hint of scandal. What she left behind is a lasting example of her unbeatable spirit and unwavering presence in the spotlight. Zaza Gabor, famous for her role in A Nightmare on Elm Street, Three Dream Warriors, had a memorable part in the dream sequence of the movie. Originally, Sally Kellerman was supposed to be in the scene, but Dick Cavett, who chose the guest, picked Zaza Gabor because he thought she wasn't very smart. So, she was chosen to be the one Freddy Krueger confronts. She was related to Annette Lantos, who was married to U.S. Congressman Tom Lantos. Annette was Zaza's first cousin once removed. Zaza's mother and Annette were also first cousins. When Zaza was 30 years old, she gave birth to her only child, Francisca Hilton, on March 10, 1947. Francisca's father was Zaza's second husband, Conrad Hilton. Zaza Gabor, the actress, made a notable claim during an interview with the Associated Press at Omaha Epley Airfield. She mentioned dancing with Adolf Hitler twice. Later, she clarified to the Washington Post that it was actually Josip Bros Tito, and she had misspoken when she mentioned Hitler's name by mistake. Unfortunately, she passed away less than two months before her 100th birthday. She arrived in Hollywood in 1941, armed with a letter of introduction to Bezel Rathbone and his wife, Uda Berger. This introduction granted her access to the upper echelons of Hollywood society. Her journey in Hollywood was marked by various roles and experiences. Despite controversies and occasional missteps, she left an imprint on the entertainment industry. Zaza Gilbor's presence in Hollywood remains memorable even decades after her prime. Born in Budapest, Austria-Hungary, Zaza Gabor, previously known as Sari Gaber, won the title of Miss Hungary in 1936. Her parents, Vilmos and Jolie Gabor, came from Jewish families. Zaza's paternal grandparents were Salomon Grun and Rosalia Kluger, while her maternal grandparents, originally from Ukraine, were Jana Hirsch Tilleman and Chaufage Reinhars. She was mentioned in the song Donna, the Prima Donna by Dion Demucci. Zaza Gobor's journey from winning the Miss Hungary title to gaining fame in popular culture remains significant in entertainment history. In November 1989, the true age of the famous Hungarian-American actress was revealed by an old school friend, Elizabeth Nussbaum. She had been pretending to be 11 years younger than she actually was in all her official records. During her time married to George Sanders, she had a well-known affair with Porfirio Rubarosa. This situation became even more complicated when Rubarosa came back to her only 53 days after he married Barbara Hutton. In a notable incident in 1954, she was seen wearing an eye patch, claiming that Rubarosa had hit her out of jealousy. When she passed away, her last wishes were respected. About 75% of her ashes were buried in Budapest, the city where she was born. The rest are in Los Angeles. This was partly because it took over four years to arrange her burial due to travel restrictions caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. Her unique and public personal life remains a topic of interest in both Budapest and Los Angeles.